San Francisco city leaders are considering a new and controversial plan to address a surge in homelessness. It would turn public spaces into city sanctioned homeless encampments. Now the legislation called a place for all had its first committee hearing today. And joining me this afternoon is Supervisor Raphael Mandelman, author of this proposal. Uh, Supervisor, thank you so much for being here this afternoon. This would allow sure. for sites for hundreds of tents. Who would be offered a tent and where would these sites be located? Yeah, so, so taking a step back, this is actually not a tents for all proposal. It's a shelter for all proposal that could be uh, using safe sleeping sites, but could also be traditional shelter, navigation centers, or even SIP hotels. So what the legislation would require is that um, San Francisco make available to any unhoused person willing to come in off of the sidewalk or out of the plaza or the park um, a, a safe place to be. It does establish a minimum standards for um, for the safe sleeping sites, if that, you know, to the extent that we are relying on those. But really, this for the first time would uh, it would not exactly establish a right to shelter, but it would establish a policy that San Francisco is going to try to have shelter for all. And that's a commitment other cities make. New York makes it. Boston makes it. It's a commitment San Francisco does not make. And I think uh, some of what we have on our streets reflects that. How long would people be allowed to stay at these sites? So these are intended to be, te you know, temporary shelter should be a temporary path um, to some other exit from homelessness. Um, and so the hope is that folks would not be there for long. Um, we have a tremendous shortage of permanent supportive housing. Um, I think we have seen during the pandemic, we've seen an explosion of unsanctioned encampments, which are uh, dangerous for the folks who live in them and, um, and terrible for the neighborhoods where they're located. We've also explored some uh, regulate, city regulated and managed encampments. And I think that we've seen that those can be part of um, our solution at least to ending street homelessness. I think we need to try to end street homelessness in San Francisco, even if we can't get every unhoused person a home. Now you mentioned that these would be sanctioned encampments, but again, where exactly would they be located? Would they be on, on public parks? Would they be in every neighborhood across San Francisco? So this is just the very earliest step in this process. There's a policy statement that would say that that we're going to try to have some kind of shelter for everyone and would include safe sleep sites as that um, as part of that. But then we would ask our Department of Homelessness and Supportive Housing to take four months and identify potential sites for uh, for safe sleeping sites or for other temporary shelter um, and to also give us a cost analysis. Right now, we don't really know how much full implementation of this policy would cost. And so before we move forward with it, of course, we would need to have that implementation plan back for the Board of Supervisors to consider um, and then decide whether we're going to move forward with a shelter for all with implementation of actual shelter for all. Yeah, and Supervisor, you can understand, though, it's it's difficult for people to get on board with this plan. A, if we don't know the cost. B, if they don't know where these sites are going to be. We're already hearing from homeless advocates that, that this does not address the root of the problem, which is permanent, uh, affordable, permanent housing. What do you say to, to homeless advocates who, who don't really like this proposal? Uh, yeah, they've expressed a lot of concern. They believe that we need to we need to move people uh, to permanent supportive housing. And I agree that we should do more in the way of permanent supportive housing. But really, over the last 20, 30 years, San Francisco has spent billions of dollars on moving people from the street um, into permanent supportive housing and other exits from homelessness without measurably or appreciably impacting and improving conditions on the street. We need to have an exit from the sidewalk for every person willing to take it. Um, and I don't think it's an either or. I think we need to invest in those kind of shelter alternatives to directly impact what's going on in the street, even as we try to um, make our contribution to the more permanent solutions. Homelessness is a regional, statewide, national problem. San Francisco is not going to be able on its own to, un to house every unhoused person. And if we don't uh, deal with our street conditions until we've reached that utopian point. Um, we're going to keep having what we got, which is unacceptable. All right, Supervisor Mandelman, really appreciate you coming on the show today, and we'll be following the progress of your plan. Thanks again. All right. Thank you.